video eight. Welcome back. I'm just putting in a little bit of detail on the Kielsen there. Just show you that in a second. Putting these pins in to make it look like uh, the rivets or whatever. I think they might be a little bit on the heavy side of what I had left over, but it adds detail in there. I think they look okay. Once I've done these, we'll be on to putting the other, the lower beam shelves in, if that's what they're called. Um, but for now, just doing these. Just got to cut these pins off. You can see that. Just cutting them off. I've drilled all the holes in here. And then just a bit of super glue and a bit fiddly. There we go. I'll just drop them in like that. So I'll just crack on with these for a while. Uh, later on in this video, possibly, I'll be doing some more rope hanks. Um, I made a video on it before about how to make them. Well, I've ordered some more thread from a company online. And I want to get the Victory finished. Uh, I might even sell it, actually. I might put it on the market. But all the rope hanks, all the detailing on that has to be done, so... I'm going to be working on that a little bit and then back to this. It won't take me long to do that. If you want to see it all and see the next videos, don't forget to subscribe. Help me build the channel. Just hit the button below and uh, see the rest of the build of the blue nose. Anyway, I'll crack on with these, come back when I've got them done. Right. Well, that's got all those in. I don't think they look too bad. Maybe a little bit out of scale, but uh, I'm quite happy with them. So the next bit is this, these bottom pieces here, the lower beam shelves or beam supports. I've sanded that one to shape. Um, you can see on this edge, there's quite a bevel there to take off. Um, for lining up with the ribs, we've got, I've marked ribs 43 and 13, which is where it goes, and there has to be a 4mm overhang. Well, I'm not going to measure 4mm, something like uh, overhang in rib 13, and that brings the stern in line with 43. So that sits in there nice. I've got this one to sand off now to the line so we can go this side and get them nice and even. There's a bit to sand off here as well because that's not quite the right angle uh, and take all the black off as well. So I'll do that and when we're ready to fix them in I'll come back. So this one's got to be carved and sanded back to the line to the line here and to the back corner so it'll fit nicely on the ribs so we'll, we'll do that we'll start to do that with it being this hard pear wood I'm going to uh, carve it first
That's not too bad. I mean, so that just broke the point off. But it's a bit to sand off there anyway, so it's not going to show. Okay, we'll try that. You can see the angle there, it's not uh, not as it should be. Let's press down in, it does go a little bit better, but that needs a bit off there. Same as the other one. Got to go in both exactly the same, otherwise it will uh, throw the beams out. Right, we've got them sanded into shape, now just got to glue them in. I've just been round the edges with a pencil so I can see where to glue. Just put a little fine line. So, this could be fun. Or not. That's that one. Of course, I've got to glue them together and then put something through to line them. Just about got it, I've just got this front end to pull down. But apart from that, it's looking okay. Everything is level. So, some more bits to go in the bow, some short ones, and then they'll have to be drilled and pinned as well to make them look right. So, I'll try and get this sorted and then we'll go from there. Well, how things change in 48 hours or five seconds as this video goes um, if you remember I was putting these in well remember it's two seconds ago I chamfered the edges off these and I put them in the wrong way around I put the chamfer downwards and it's not the chamfer is upwards so the beams um, these the shelves actually fit flush flat onto the ribs and the bevel is on the top so the beams fit level across the top there so i had to change those round 
I'm not really happy with uh, with these at all because I haven't got a good finish on the ends. I've drilled them all and put these brass pins into look like rivets. They're not too bad, a little bit out of scale probably. I've now got these to drill just with a single pin in each one. Um, but I'll use smaller than these. I'm going to take the heads off them and use smaller. And then at the front edge, I've got these two in here. This one's just wedged in and just still set in. So that's all the beam shelves in at the moment. Um, I didn't film me doing it all because I did it in bits and pieces yesterday. Um, I felt awful yesterday because Monday night I had a flu jab and a COVID booster at the same time. Uh, maybe not a good idea, but I felt dreadful yesterday, so uh, I haven't got a lot done. But that's where we are with the blue nose. And I've also been making some, the half made at the moment, some rope hanks to put on the Victory. Uh, the Victory, which is sitting over there. I'm going to put the rope hanks on that, tidy it all up a little bit, and then I'll be putting it for sale. Um, just out of interest. I'm not really bothered about selling it. I'm just going to put it up and see what uh, what interest I get. So I'll be putting these on. And then I'll be looking at the beams for the blue nose. Whether I get round to it in this video or not, I don't know. Like I say, not much achieved this week. Um, well, not much on film anyway. But we'll see what more we get done. Right, so the next bit on these rope hanks, the main part of it's set now, so I'll just try and do the next bit. So I've just got that to do with all of them. Right, so as you can probably see, I've brought the victory over. Just see it there. Um, I'll show you more in a minute. I've got these rope hanks done. So we'll take these off. This glue at the top here on these isn't quite set yet, but I want to get 
get on so I can get this video done. So take all these out. This isn't all, I need some more actually. There's quite a lot to go on the Victory of these to make it look something like, but I've got some more thread coming through the post today. Well, it's been delivered today, I don't know if it's postage or what, but I did order it, it said it would be here today. Right. So here is Victory and the ones I want to put on I've done one which is can't quite see. It's in there. There it is. That one there, so he's pointing down a little bit more, but I want to get these others on. As well, if I can get the camera where you can see what I'm doing. Nope. There we go. If I can get into work, let's get some more tweezers out. Slightly different colour these as well, unfortunately. But There we go. Two on. As I say, I'm going to put this on the market, but it's going to be UK only. I don't know whether it'll sell. I'm not that bothered. If you've got an interest in it, just message me. Make me an offer. You need a big space for it though. It's quite a big model. 1.2 meters long, I think it is. From the uh, stern right through to the uh, end of the bowsprit. Get on. That's it. There we go. So pull the, all those down into shape and uh, set them. Like I said, there's a load more to go on in all different places. Um, I could put them on all the pins. There's all this rigging in here. I could all do with uh, rope hanks on and in the back there. I'm caught up in the lines here. <clears throat> all those belaying pins could all do with them it's more at the back there could all do with them so I'll probably do quite a bit of work on this and uh, same on the Mayflower as well because that needs to be done the same I've done a couple on the Mayflower but uh, anyway there's a victory So that's it for this week. Back to the uh, blue nose, I think, next week. 
and see if I can get quite a bit more done. Get the uh, get the beams in now. Put the beam shelves in. So I'll see you then. Thank you.